Registered Phenomena Code 032 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Contact Hazard Animated Hazard Aggression Hazard Mind Control Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-032 is to be kept wound on a spool in a sealed containment bag inside of a locked safe. Any testing done on the object must be initiated in an airtight test chamber, accessed via an airlock, and observed through bulletproof glass with a ballistic rating of UL-752, level 2 or higher. If any personnel is required to be in the test chamber during testing, they must wear a reinforced hazmat suit at all times. When testing is concluded, the testing chamber will be flooded with a lethal gas until all test subjects are rendered terminated. After the test subject is confirmed to be dead, an authority medical specialist will enter the room to perform an autopsy on the subject and remove RPC-032 from the subject in the process. RPC-032 will then be re-secured inside of its safe. RPC-032 is a white thread that is made from rayon at 120.71 meters in length. If RPC-032 comes into contact with a living mammal, it will immediately puncture the skin and enter the body, taking the mammal as its host. While the threat is inside of a host, it will render the host unconscious and integrate itself into both the nervous and muscular systems in order to take control of the host's movements. If the host is physically damaged in any way, RPC-032 will stitch them back together, repairing it with a high degree of speed and efficiency. This increases the host's durability against physical damage. However, it does not protect the host against other causes of death, such as suffocation, poison, or starvation. The threat itself is both highly durable and able to repair itself while it is in contact with a host. If the host dies, it will return to an inert state and can be removed from the host. Experiment Log 032-001 Supervisor Dr. M. Singh Subject Adult Female Brown Rat Rattus Norvegicus 0 seconds The subject came into contact with RPC-032 and became a host. 46 seconds The subject began crawling aimlessly and exhibiting muscle spasms. 2 minutes 7 seconds The muscle spasms ended. 3 minutes 31 seconds the subject began running in a circle counterclockwise. 5 minutes 12 seconds. The subject began observing the researchers through the glass, constantly changing the angle of its neck. 5 minutes 59 seconds. The subject's eyes began moving out of sync with each other. 7 minutes 7 seconds. A researcher entered a test chamber. 8 minutes 23 seconds. The researcher severed the subject's tail. 8 minutes 28 seconds. The subject's tail reattached itself. 10 minutes 34 seconds. The researcher cut the subject's torso in half, severing its lower body. 10 minutes 42 seconds. Subject's torso restored itself. Stitching in the skin is visible around the torso wound. 11 minutes 49 seconds. The subject began attempting to bite through researcher's hazmat suit. 13 minutes 3 seconds. The researcher crushed the subject's head. 13 minutes 26 seconds. The subject's head restored itself. However, its neck is now attached at an angle 24 degrees to the right, and its left eyelid is stitched shut. 14 minutes 51 seconds. The subject chewed off its own front right leg. 15 minutes 2 seconds. The subject's leg reattached itself. 16 minutes 30 seconds. Testing ended. Subject terminated. Experiment Log 032-002 Supervisor Dr. M. Singh Subject Adult Male Domestic Pigeon Columba Livia Domestica Result No reaction on contact. RPC-032 remained inanimate. Experiment Log 032-003 Supervisor Dr. M. Singh Subject 1 Adult Male Brown Rat Rattus Norvegicus Subject 2 
Adult male brown rat. Ratus norvegicus. Result: 0 seconds. Subject 2 came into contact with RPC-032 and became a host. 13 seconds. Subject 2 began to run along the full perimeter of the room. Note, it's possible the host improved ease of movement. It's because the thread has remembered how to control a rat's body from the previous experiment. Dr. M. Singh 2 minutes 14 seconds. Subject 2 stopped in place and observed the airlock door. Subject 2 began repeatedly tilting its head to the right. 4 minutes 19 seconds. Subject 2 began observing Subject 1. 4 minutes 53 seconds. Subject 2 ran at Subject 1 and began an aggressive struggle. 4 minutes 59 seconds. Both subjects became stitched together at all points of contact. Both subjects are now considered to be a host. 5 minutes 40 seconds. Both subjects began to move together in unison, but were unable to crawl successfully. 12 minutes 20 seconds. Testing ended. Subjects terminated. Experiment Log 032-004 Supervisor Dr. A. Williams Subject 34-year-old male human CSD Personnel CSD-1749 Result 0 seconds The subject came into contact with RPC-032 and became a host. 26 seconds the subject stood up and began to examine its body. 2 minutes 19 seconds. The subject bit off its right thumb, leaving it suspended by threads from RPC-032. 2 minutes 26 seconds. The subject's thumb reattached itself. 2 minutes 31 seconds. The subject began to observe the researchers through the glass, and began to imitate the posture and movements of Dr. L. Walker. 5 minutes 27 seconds. The subject attempted to vocalize. During the process, an increasing number of threads were seen in the mouth, presumably to manipulate the tongue and jaw. 7 minutes 55 seconds. The subject began to bang its fist and head against the glass very aggressively. 12 minutes 45 seconds. Testing ended. Subject terminated. Experiment Log 032-005 Supervisor Dr. H. Robertson Subject Adult male brown rat Rattus norvegicus Result 0 seconds The subject came into contact with RPC-032 and became a host. This occurred while the subject was restrained to a table. 2 minutes 52 seconds The subject began to struggle against its restraints. 7 minutes 28 seconds The subject laid still. 16 minutes 13 seconds. The subject began to vocalize various noises common to that of a rat. 2 hours 31 minutes 49 seconds. The subject stopped struggling, only making minor movements. 2 hours 47 minutes 14 seconds. Stitches began to appear on several areas of the subject's skin. 76 hours 14 minutes 56 seconds. Subject confirmed dead due to starvation. Testing ended. Experiment Log 032-006 Supervisor Dr. M. Singh Subject Adult female deer mouse Paramiscus maniculatus Result 0 seconds The subject came into contact with RPC-032 and became a host. 1 minute 16 seconds A researcher partially submerged the subject in hydrofluoric acid. 1 minute 42 seconds. The subject began to struggle. 2 minutes 51 seconds. The subject was removed from the acid. The host is severely damaged by the acid. However, the exposed thread of RPC-032 appears undamaged. 4 minutes 10 seconds. The subject's body restored itself. However, the restored portion of the subject's flesh is highly deformed. The function of several muscles appear to have been replaced with the threat of RPC-032. 5 minutes 30 seconds. The researcher partially submerged the subject in hydrofluoric acid again. 7 minutes 11 seconds. Subject confirmed dead due to internal organ damage. Testing ended. Further experiment logs 032-007
can be found in File 032-1A.